Hi crafters, it's Karen and I wanted to do a real quick video sharing how I use Windows Movie Maker to um, uh, to make my process videos. A few of you have asked and recently Muriel, Ms. Cooper's Coop has, had asked me and I told her that I would try to put out a video showing showing you the steps that I take. Now I'm not an expert with Windows Movie Maker by any means but I am going to show you the steps that I take when I um, do my process videos. So we're going to go to Windows Movie Maker and this is it. Now I just have my camera on a tripod facing my laptop so I know the lighting is kind of funky but I hope that you can you know see all the headings and everything else. So this is the front page. Um, now I want to add my we're going to add our videos and photos so let's say you've recorded your your video, your process video, you've recorded yourself crafting and you've uploaded it to your computer now you, you want to bring it to Windows Movie Maker so where it says add videos and photos we're going to click that now because I didn't record anything that I could use for demonstration purposes like a, a video of me actually crafting I'm using some of these old real quick clips that I have of Joe and I at the beach last summer um, we were testing out a water camera that we have and these are really quick clips so um, this will work for for this purpose so I'm gonna click this one and open and it brings it to Windows Movie Maker now normally um, this is a really short clip, it's only 34 seconds, but normally your video would have to, Windows Movie Maker would have to prepare your video. So in the bottom left hand corner you would see a bar and it would say Windows is preparing your video. So that usually takes a couple of minutes. But um, this is the second time that I've done this video so <laughs> my little clip is already prepared. So anyway, this is the clip that we have. Um, now I'm going to bring in another clip because a lot of times our process videos are spliced by a couple of different clips that we have. Like I said, I don't I don't edit my videos as far as you know um, take out clips and this and that. I I just video myself and then. Um, a video of myself crafting and then when I'm ready to move on to the next step I turn off my camera and then I start all over again you know what I mean so that's how I do it so we need to get to we need to get to the end of this point here so that I can add my next video okay so now I'm going to add another video Let's do this one. Open. Okay. And now we have both of those videos. Sorry, I know that volume is loud. Okay. Um, now we have both of those videos. So we want to come back here. Come back here. Let's just say now this is our process. It's a two step process, whatever. Um, now we want to bring in a title so up here you could see where it says title so let's just um, title this beach day beach day okay and over here are these different screens here are different options that you can have to how you want this title to come up so let's just do that see how it, how it comes out really cute right okay that's the only fanciness that I incorporate in my videos okay so now we have our video now um, we want to take down the sound of our crafting if we want to do a voiceover so 
we have to come, go over here to where it says edit, press edit, and on the far left there's video volume. So we're going to click that, and over here on the bar, we want to bring the volume all the way down because we're going to be recording a voiceover for, for our video. So now that this video is silent or whatever, muted, so we can record a voiceover over it. But you have to do that for every clip that you incorporate into your um, into Movie Maker. So we're going to go to this one. And I'm going to pause it. I'm going to go back up here to volume. And I'm going to bring the volume of this clip all the way down as well. Okay, so now both both clips um, are muted and you can record a voiceover over them. Okay, now let's let's say you want to um, speed up your process video. Uh, let's let's say it's like an hour long of you crafting and you need to speed it up because you want your video to be to be shorter. So over here in edit on the same section where you have your video volume, you have it where it says speed. So if you click down here, it gives you the, the different options and it goes from, well you can see, can you see? I'm not sure if you can see. Well, it goes from, um, you know, you can have regular speed which is one times and then you can increase it to one and a quarter times one and a half times one and three quarter times to two times and then it, it jumps up to four times and then eight times speed those are the options for a windows movie maker uh, for my videos I, um, I usually go to four times fast because um, there is no th option three which would be perfect but in this particular, um, you know, setup, I usually go to four times fast. But for this, four times sped up. Sorry, I know I'm not explaining this real great, but but for this video of us here at the beach, we're we'll just do it at two times. And um, and here it looks real silly, but. <laughs> But there you go. Um, what was a minute long video or a two minute long video is now cut down to, you know, 50 minutes. Okay, now for the second clip is still in one time, one time speed. So you have the choice of whether, you know, each clip that you incorporate into Windows Movie Maker, you can do them at, at different speeds. Um, I can leave this one at once at at its regular speed or I can increase it and I'll increase this one to one and a quarter and there you go so now your videos are sped up so now you want to um, do your voice over so let's bring the bring your cursor back to the beginning and and we're going to click here where it says home and over here it says web webcam video record narration or snapshot um, we can just record narration that I mean that's how I record uh, my narration my narrations over my videos and so here it has the big red button for record and then stop so let's record um, a voice over for our little video here just just for uh, demonstration purposes so we're going to press record so here we are we're recording I'm just recording through the microphone on my laptop but a lot of people do have microphones that they use um, when they do their 
voiceovers and it just cuts down all the background noises and, and things. But I just record through my laptop. Um, I don't have any fancy equipment. So when you're done recording your voiceover, you just press stop and then you're going to have to save that recording into um, your Windows Media Audio file. So I just, I'll just call this narration um, demonstration. And it gets saved. Okay, now I'm going to play, I'm going to play this for you and you can hear how it comes out. Let's increase the volume of my laptop so that you can hear it. So here we are, we're recording, I'm just recording through the microphone on my laptop, but a lot of people do have microphones that they use um, when they do their voiceovers and it just cuts down all the background noises and, and things. But I just record through my laptop. Um, I don't have any fancy equipment. So when you're done recording your voiceover, you just press stop. Okay. Now, now I've finished. I finished that recording. Now I think it it gives me the also it gives me the options if I want to add music. So I can add music at this point if I want. Or if you don't want to narrate or, you know, do a voiceover, you could just add, simply add music. But because it's going on YouTube, you want it to be um, acceptable music or copyright free or, or whatever they call it. So um, I'm going to go to my free music archive. Now, um, YouTube, on, on YouTube, they do have a place where you could upload or download um, f free music that is acceptable and copyright free that you could use for your videos. So, whoops. I'm going to go with one that I already have uploaded here. Okay. Now it goes, now this has gone the length of my video, I'm not sure I meant that. So here we are, we're recording, I'm just recording through the microphone on my laptop, but a lot of so people the music do is in the have background. microphones that they use. Um, when they do their voiceovers and it just cuts down all the background noises and, and things. But I just record through my laptop. Um, I don't have any fancy equipment. So when you're done recording your voiceover, you just press stop. Okay. Okay, so now we're at the end of our, our video and every and that's basically all I do for my process videos is um, and for my voiceovers. So now you ha after you are happy with what you have there, you come over here to where it says file and you want to go down to where it says save movie because you want this to come out as a movie and so you come down to not save movie up to where it says recommendation for this project I always use that one so now it's going to save my movie let's title it um, demo for YouTube. <laughs> okay, now it's going to save the movie and it'll put it um, in your pictures um, 
in your pictures file or something. I'm not quite sure that's where it puts it for me. And then from there, I just post it onto YouTube as normal. I hope I've explained this properly. I'm not um, in a way that you could understand. But, okay, so it didn't take much to save that because it's such a short video. But here it says, you can play your video file now. Open the folder that it's in. So I'm op opening that folder. And here it is, demo for YouTube. So let's click on that and see what it sounds like, see what it looks like. So here we are, we're recording. I'm just recording through the microphone on my laptop, but a lot of people do have microphones that they use um, when they do their voiceovers, and it just cuts down all the background noises and, and things. But I just record through my laptop um, I don't have any fancy equipment. So when you're done recording your voiceover, you just press stop. And that's the video. So, and then from, from there you can upload it straight to YouTube. So um, I hope this helps. If you have any, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. And if I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of other tutorials on YouTube um, on how to use Windows Movie Maker that may have explained it a little easier than I have. But at any rate, there you go. <laughs> I hope this helps, Muriel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye bye.